If I gave you these daily programs from the recent cruises I booked on, on these two lines, you would see they're offering and doing all the same things on board. On the surface, these two cruise lines appear to be interchangeable with little to differentiate one from the other. However, one of these lines, Princess Cruises and Celebrity Cruises, is better than the other, as I'm going to show you. If you're new here, welcome aboard. I'm Gary Bembridge and my goal is to make it easier and more fun to discover, plan and enjoy unforgettable cruise vacations. If I covered up the cruise line name on their daily programs, you would absolutely struggle to tell which was Princess Cruises and which was Celebrity Cruises. They have the same range and types of activities, quizzes, game shows, deck games, enrichment talks, cooking demos, movies out on deck, art auctions, bingo, fitness classes, fitness seminars, shopping deal events and so on. They have the same entertainment, live music around the ship, on the pool deck and in the bars and lounges. The main theatre shows are the same too. They're all song and dance review shows. On the newer ships with more modern theatres, the shows are a bit bigger and glitzier like rock opera on Princess and Kaleidoscope on Edge. They have guest entertainers with the usual singers, magicians and so on. They have big casinos. Their dress codes follow a classical and traditional cruise approach with a mix of smart casual and dress up nights. On Princess it's called Dress to Impress and on Celebrity it's Evening Chic. Dining is also largely the same. There's a mix of included dining venues and some speciality restaurants with added fees. There are main dining rooms with early, late or anytime options for dinner, a buffet restaurant called Ocean View on Celebrity and Horizon Court on Princess. They have both informal dining venues around the swimming pools. The speciality restaurants are also broadly similar. Princess has Sabatini, Italian, Crown Grill Steakhouse and Bistro Sur la Mer, their French bistro. Celebrity has the Tuscan Grill, Italian, Murano, which is French, and Petit Chef. Both have sushi restaurants, the Sea View Bar on Princess and Sushi on Five on Celebrity. They have their signature coffee shops, International Cafe on Princess, and Cafe Al Bacchio on Celebrity Spa and Fitness Centers and so on and so on. On this basis, there is really very little to choose between them. If you like a classic cruise experience and ship, which I do, neither, in my view, is better. However, during my cruises, as I settled in and probed deeper, I experienced some differences that has affected which I'm actually choosing as being better. And I think you should factor this into your thinking too. On checking, I found that both cruise lines have fleets of the same size. Princess has in service or about to come into service at the time of recording 15 classic traditional cruise ships. Celebrity Cruises also has 15 ships, 13 classic cruise ships and three expedition ships in the Galapagos. Both offer sailings all around the world on those classic cruise ships. Princess has the upper hand. They call on 380 ports in 100 countries, while Celebrity calls on 80 fewer ports, so 300, in 79 countries. And while they both cover most popular cruise regions, Princess also runs world cruises that Celebrity don't. But I found at both future cruise sales desks, they could pretty much find every itinerary that I was looking at. I decided that although Princess probably calls on more ports, it does have an edge there, but it's probably not significantly the better. But what they are doing with their ships does make a big difference. As Princess adds new ships, they're sticking to an existing style and format. The new ships are getting bigger, but ships like Sky Princess, Enchanted Princess, Discovery Princess, they are the same layout the same format as a slightly older and previous Royal Princess, Regal Princess and so on. They basically have an extra deck. They have the same look, the same venues, the same facilities. Princess focus instead is on making the way things work on their ships better through technology with their medallion and medallion class updates. Now the medallion is a wearable device uh, and an app. It basically speeds up your check-in, it opens your cabin door, it enables you to order drinks and food wherever you are, it enables the crew to provide a more personalized service. Now I have a video about this in more depth so I won't dwell on the detail here. Princess is sticking with what is familiar to current and past guests. Celebrity is taking a different tack. On one hand they have the Millennium and the Solstice classes which makes up the bulk of their fleet 
and from the outside and also inside have very traditional cruise ship look and layouts, but all their newer ships are very different. As celebrities expand their fleet, unlike Princess, they have a brand new class of ships, the Edge class, with Celebrity Edge, Celebrity Apex, and Celebrity Beyond. These ships are very different and divide opinion, especially with existing celebrity passengers that I've spoken to. They have new hull shape, the magic carpet on one side, and big changes to the cabins with infinity cabins, which don't have balconies you walk out onto. There are big decor changes that are much more modern and definitely trendier. They have new venues on them like Eden, which again divides existing cruise passengers. It's a three level venue, which has quirky entertainment, more avant-garde food and drinks. They've ditched the one main large dining room and replaced it with four smaller dining rooms, which you move between Tuscan, which is more Italian, Cosmopolitan, which is kind of modern American cuisine, Mediterranean in Cyprus, and more French cuisine in Normandy. If I step on a princess ship, no matter where in the world, no matter which ship it is, it will be very familiar every single time. It will look the same, have pretty much the same layout, the facilities, everything will be incredibly familiar. If I go on Celebrity, what it looks, feels like, and many of the facilities will be very different based on which ship I go on. This makes, in my view, one line better based on who you are and what you're looking for. Princess are focusing on one type of traveler, which may be you. They're focusing on couples, probably multi-generational travelers. Princess cruises are definitely appealing to a more traditional cruise traveler profile. Those that are likely to probably be in their 50s, 60s, 70s, people who want a predictable, consistent, and very familiar experience, which is great a lot of the time. Celebrity, I think, as they also make no bones about it, are trying to attract a younger, more diverse traveler, including solo travelers. They've introduced solo cabins with balconies on their new ships, for example. They're pushing social media stars like their captain, Kate, to engage with that more trendy social media active community. You see it in their advertising, you see it in their design. They're trying to become a more youthful, appealing cruise line. They're also trying to be more luxurious. They've upgraded the design. They've upgraded the food. They've upgraded the service. And they're trying to attract users, I think, who are more driven towards the luxury end of the premium larger ship cruise lines, but are not quite at the ultra luxury seaborne silver sea region seven seas level, which is better. Well, I think that depends on what you like. Do you want something more familiar, perhaps a bit more traditional, or do you want something that is much more modern and much more kind of out there? Do you want to know that no matter which ship you step on from the line, any itinerary, anywhere in the world, when you step on that ship, it will be familiar and the same. Now, why you think about that? Because I struggled with that because both of those have merits. There is another issue that did help me decide which was best and may help you resolve that conflict. Both lines have a very wide range of cabins on their ships, inside right up to suites on most of these ships. However, I could see on my cruise that Celebrity is dedicating much more energy on differentiating between the cabin classes. For example, if I travel on Princess in a mini suite, I don't have any dedicated specific areas, but on Celebrity, their equivalent is Aqua class, and they have a dedicated restaurant called Blue, and then special access to the spa and so on. If I travel on a suite on Princess, I obviously have the suite, which is great. I have a smallish concierge lounge. I have an area allocated in the main dining room for suite guests, but with the same menu mostly. I can eat breakfast in Sabatini's, but I don't have lots of dedicated facilities as a suite guest beyond that. Celebrity, however, has what they call the retreat experience. Obviously, I had my suite, I had a dedicated deck, which on the Edge class actually has little plunge pool ships, on the others just has a hot tub. I had a large retreat lounge, which is on a much bigger scale than the Princess Concierge Lounge. I had a dedicated restaurant, Lumini, which had its own kitchen. Now, in my experience, if I was planning cruising in a suite again, excuse the pun here, Celebrity, I think, has the edge here for that. Possibly in a mini suite too, but for the rest of the grades, I think no difference really in reality between the two. However, even taking that into account, there is another obstacle that I came up against and when I asked people on my channel their preference between Princess and Celebrity, the issue of fares came up and that shifted opinions, in my view, on who offers better value. When looking at which cruises to book ahead, Celebrity was costing more for the same grade on the same itinerary at the same time than Princess was. Now on the plus side for me, 
as I like this, both now offer more all-inclusive fares. Celebrity has always included fares. That includes Wi-Fi, gratuities, and includes a drinks package. And then depending on the grade, you're traveling, the amount of Wi-Fi or the level of the drinks package gets higher and higher. Princess have an opt-in Princess Plus fare, which includes the same things, but unlike Celebrity, there's also a basic fare that Princess does that doesn't include those. So if you don't drink much or use the Wi-Fi much or even at all, this could make them better for you. But if you prefer more inclusive, all inclusive fares like I do, both offer that. However, I'm likely to have to pay a premium to go on Celebrity over Princess. In return, I'm probably getting a slightly more luxurious experience. So which is the best line depends on how I or you define value and balance all those elements. So where did I net out taking all of these things into account? Now, the problem that I still faced was like many of you, even after this, I like both lines. I've enjoyed the cruises on both of them. I found it really hard to choose between them. But as I started to plan future cruises, it did become clearer. I've actually booked both of those for two very different experiences and two different reasons. Let me explain. I booked Majestic Princess to Alaska because Princess Cruises, they are the experts in Alaska. They have an own facilities on land, lodges, trains, buses. And so I booked a balcony cabin on Majestic Princess to go to Alaska because I think they will give me the better experience because they have much more expertise. And the familiar experience will actually be welcome because I can slip into that very quickly and I can actually just focus on the destination Alaska, which is the reason I'm going. However, I also booked Celebrity Edge in the summer in the Mediterranean. It's a peak season. It's when ships are full, destinations are busy. And for this, I've booked a retreat suite. First, because it's a special occasion with my partner as part of our wedding anniversary celebrations. Secondly, we actually know the ports that we're going to. And so the ship itself plays a bigger role on this trip. And I do think their sweet experience has the edge. And thirdly, this is a peak season and having retreat facilities will be a bonus and a retreat literally when things are so hectic. So with everything that I discovered, the better line became obvious when I was looking at what I wanted to do at a particular point in time and for whatever set of reasons. That helped me see which made the best value. Now, is this a cop-out? Possibly. But I don't think so because both offer a premium cruise experience on similar sized ships. Both have the overall same daily program and facilities as I discussed at the start. Both offer all-inclusive fares and to get the best value experience, what I'm doing, where and when drives which is actually the better value. The right line for the right trip determines whether princess or celebrity is actually better. Now to see what I mean, join me as I dive more into Princess and Celebrity in this two video playlist, one focus video on each, I start where I talk about the biggest change that Princess has made that takes some getting used to. See you over there.